morning, everyone. It is a beautiful morning. It's going to be 27 degrees, super sunny. Time for a road trip. We got in the Falcon this morning. We drove out to Bowdoin in central Alberta. We're shooting rodeo today. Got a call from a barrel racer and a uh, calf roper. Happened to be my sister and brother-in-law. They asked me to come out and shoot their runs today. Let's see what we can get. 27 degrees, sunny. It's going to be a great day. Let's shoot some rodeo. So what we have to do today is we're gonna rock a super fast shutter speed. The barrels are, as you can see, one set up there. The other one will be set up over here and another one down in front over here. Uh, I think I'll be over in this location over here is where I'm gonna be shooting from just to get a great composition. I'll probably go vertical as well. Just, I love the look of that for barrel racing, a nice vertical eight by 10, eight by 12, eight and a half by 12, pardon me. Um, Super fast shutter speed. We'll figure it out as we get there. So by just doing a couple of test shots, I'm gonna rock um, about one one thousandth, one one thousandth, that's easy for me to say, uh, about a grand a second. <laughs> I think we'll be at uh, ISO 100, uh, about a thousandth of a second, and we'll just play around. The light is in really kind of the worst possible place as the barrel racers and competitors come out of the gate over here. Uh, they go into the sun, so we're going to be definitely be blowing out the background, but uh, I think it'll still be a great shot. High, fast shutter speed to, to lock in that action. Okay, so a little bit of bad news as this tractor's cleaning up. Uh, Nadine runs first, the barrel racer I'm here to shoot. That means I won't have time to practice and get dialed in at all. Luckily, there's some bull riding happening before she runs, and I'll hopefully dial in the shutter speed on the bull riders so when she runs, I can rock her stuff. Um, I'm not gonna videotape her run because I wanna concentrate on the photography aspect of it, and then I will shoot the barrel racers after her and video them for you as well so you can see what I'm doing. The sun's directly in my face, so I'm shooting directly in the sun just because that's where the shoots are, so shadows are gonna be a problem for me today too. One thing I wanna show you is how am I gonna shoot? Let me spin the camera here. I'm actually gonna shoot through the rungs of the fence. That's how close I can get. So that's where I'm gonna be shooting from. They're gonna come out from that way and she'll run to that barrel, then the barrel in front, and then finally the third barrel over there. So we're rocking one one thousandths uh, F4. Uh, I've got it on auto ISO. And uh, let's see what we get with this bull rider here. Hopefully get it dialed in. He's on the far left shoot. Let's do it, bud. Let's do it. One more bull rider to go. I'm gonna videotape this guy and shoot him. Uh, we're still rocking that auto ISO. ISO uh, shutter speeds at one one thousandths. Focus as they come out on their run and then track with them. They're so fast. 17, 20 seconds and the run's over. Hopefully, we got some good shots of needing there.
check out all the silence. This is bareback, and this should be a better lighting setup. The sun is now officially at our back because we're at the other end of the arena. It wouldn't work well for barrel racing, just how they turn the barrels. But for rough stock, this will work out just beautifully. And then down at the end, straight ahead, that's where the tie-down roper will come from. We're just going to shoot Glenn and then pack her in. Luckily for me, Glenn is the last cowboy in this event, so we'll just practice for a few times. I'll show you what we get. And look at the little pony! So we've got our settings pretty much dialed in. There's just one more cowboy to go before Glenn is up. Uh, he's going to be coming straight towards the camera, just like we practiced for the uh, for the event. Luckily for us, like I said, he's going last. So by now we've got the settings pretty much dialed in. Uh, as long as he ropes the cow, we should get some happy results for the photography. Glenn 80! Sometimes rodeo is, is frustrating to shoot when the light doesn't work for you. Sometimes it turns out amazing. Cap rope is going to be great for Glenn. Nadine, we'll see what they're like after we uh, after we edit them because we're shooting directly to the sun. But the shadows were a little a little harsh there. But hopefully we can pull those out in, in post. That's it. In the meantime and in between time, we'll catch you next time. A little bit of cleanup work in Lightroom, and these are the final results. High shutter speed freezes the action. The dirt explodes when the horse's hoof hits the ground. So, do I have to bribe them by giving them extra Christmas presents this year? Leave a comment in the section below. And to finish it off, a little black and white, high contrast, tight cropped horse action. Hey, and as always guys, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, get those notifications, share the video with your friends. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you next time.